Hello, who's watching? Say hello in the comments. Like. I will be posting this video to my YouTube channel. So, therefore, <laughs> I was like, uh, hello, Nika. How are you, love? Um... You know, I'm looking, I'm looking pretty cute. So I'm like, yo, the show don't stop. Somebody's going to get this face beat, okay? <laughs> so those of you who are interested in watching on how to use lipstick to your advantage, this is just a brief tutorial on different lipstick shades. I have about, so about 12 lipsticks in front of me. Um, I have so much more than that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. In case you all are wondering how to, because what I notice a lot with people, they don't like to venture off into, hi Dwayne, um, hi, is that Nikki, Nikki Vaughn, are you all watching? Um, people don't like to venture off into new colors they're afraid to try right they they're they're kind of so this video is just to kind of give you more confidence that you can get away with a lot of colors if you just kind of broaden your horizons a little bit you'll be surprised at how many colors you can get away with so lorena can you hand mommy those wipes right there i have my little assistant baby in here those wipes right in there in the drawer right over there thank you thank you so okay yes yeah, so if that's you that this video is for you so you can gain confidence so we, we will be using um milani products i'm always comfortable with nudes but i want to see the colors yes right because nudes are it's the safety place it's the you know the comfortable go-to um and that's cool i guess for just general but i'm such a bold person i love i might do a natural look but i always have to have a bold lip so we will be using milani products we will be using maybelline products and we will be using mac and then i have one here by morphe this one is by morphe this is my favorite so i wore a black shirt because usually black kind of goes with everything so we're gonna start with this one this is elderberry so it's not black okay it's not black it's just a very very dark purple um and if you know what an elderberry is then you know what i'm talking about um almost like a blackberry right so and i have so many other colors but i just want to start with these for the sake of time and i don't want this video to be super long so yeah so this is the elderberry And if you're lighter, of a lighter skin tone, these colors really look good on you. <laughs> like, really look good. See that? Now, some of you might be like, oh, that's too dark. Looks a little goth. But it's really pretty. Especially when you wear the right colors. I like to do, I like to do this one, especially in the fall. I wear it with yellow, mustard colors, purple, black. Um, those colors you would want to mix these with. So I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? <laughs> Charlotte, <laughs> the face. <laughs> no, I didn't because. Thank you, Darlene. I line it up so even because I'm just I could do this in my sleep now like it's just and I and I was like wait I don't have a mirror in front of me I hope I do this right but it's it's so easy to me now to just put it on there evenly um you really have to know your lips you have to know how your lips are formed and no I don't 
put anything on my lips depending on what lipstick it is. So this is a really creamy lipstick, so I don't put anything on my lips because I don't want to be slipping and sliding. I don't like lip gloss. So if I want it to be a lipstick, I'm very moderate with the amount of chapstick that I put on. But I do wear chapstick. And this is one... Let me see. I know I don't have it in front of me. But I do... I just wear basic chapsticks like uh, Blistex or Carmex. I do have mirrors. I have mirrors all in my room. I have one right in front of me right now. I just don't feel like pulling it up to look at it. But I can, I can see it though. But the really matte ones. So like for instance, this and this MAC especially. These MAC lipsticks. So this is Ruby Woo. And this is a Mac Mini that I got called Flat Out Fabulous. These will like break your lips <laughs> if you don't put on chapstick because they are so dry. And I love me a good dry lip, but with these, you definitely got to put on chapstick. Now the liquid mattes, no, don't put on any chapstick with those because they they do what they they're supposed to do and they work how they're supposed to work when you don't put on chapstick with the liquid matte so this would be an example of a liquid matte this would be an example of a liquid matte um i got so many li liquid mattes in front of me um lip bar i forgot about them i have some by the, the lip bar i guess i'll put that one on next so this one is by morphe it was only ten dollars at ulta elderberry and i mean for the most part i like the lip I never, this is my first ever lipstick by them. Um, I may or may not buy more. I'm just more of a matte kind of girl. So the creamy lipsticks, I don't wear much, especially with us wearing masks all the time. I like to wear lipstick that I know won't come off because I still wear my lipstick under my mask. Okay, we're going to wipe this off with a Neutrogena mask wipe. Mask, mask wipe. <sighs> Makeup wipe. <laughs> Thank you, Darlene, for the support. I don't know if I said that already or not, but thank you. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for watching. And this video will be posted to my YouTube channel, guys. So if you're not following me, you might want to do that. Because the same how-to video will be on there. Dry that up some okay now we're gonna go to the lip bar this is crown me and this is detroit brand black owned you can get this in target for those of you who don't know this is a liquid matte the eyebrow tutorial <laughs> every time i get on here everybody says eyebrows the eyebrow tutorial is on my YouTube page. It's like the third video on my YouTube page. What I'm putting on now, darling, um, these colors, because <laughs> I'm a medium complexion. So, yeah, these colors. I wouldn't consider myself light. I hope nobody does. I, I did an eyelash tutorial on YouTube as well. And uh, you are on. You're subscribed to my YouTube. So, uh, Nika, check that out. I did an eyelash. I did false lashes and I did regular lashes. So check that out. So with the lip bar, some people, I personally, I like lip bar, but some people don't. Um, it goes on one way, but when it dries, it's a really nice finish to me. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a light bright. <laughs> I never ever thought I was a light bright, like not compared to the red bones I know. Like you, <laughs> I'm not a light bright. I'm a caramel latte. <laughs> so you see that? This is the lip bar. I didn't contour anything today, guys. I just put on concealer and I did some brows. And I put on these $7 lashes from Sephora. Because I wanted to keep it simple today. So this is, is drying up. This is how it looks dried up. Okay. 
So I'm gonna wipe that off. Now that was by the lip bar. I'm so afraid of Matt because it dries. It looks crack on me. That's why, that's why you gotta do the chapstick. Because if you don't do the chapstick, then yes, it will look cracked. And I mean, you can still put on the chapstick with the liquid mattes as well. But definitely, definitely with the MAC lipsticks, you have to put on chapstick. So then you won't have that cracked, dry look effect. Because I know exactly what you mean. Mine don't look dry and cracked, but I'm always biting my lips because the skin is peeling. So it's just really weird. Okay, so we're going to wipe this off. This is by the Lip Bar, for those of you just joining, called Crown Me. You can get this at Target or the Lip Bar um, itself. It's, they have a uh, location in downtown Detroit, I believe. So, yeah, check that out. Hi! I don't want to say her name is Madeline because I don't think that's her name, is it? But thank you for watching. I wish I, 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 wish I had an interview today, guys. But, you know, we're going we gonna to rock this out. Um, because like I said, I was just too cute and I just was like, yo, people set aside some time for this. So we going to make it do what it do. All right. Okay, good. Her name is Madeline. Hi, Madeline. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> link is in my Instagram bio. It's in my Facebook bio too, but for some reason that link doesn't work. So this is one of my favorites. This is by Milani. You can get this from Walmart, Target, Meyer, anywhere Milani is sold. The drugstores. And this, let me see, is the color still available? Raising, a oh, raving matte, color number eight. So this is a little different shade of purple. It's like a metallic. So I don't know if you can see the details of that, but um, this is more of a metallic shade. And the more layers you put on, keep that in mind. The more layers you put on, the darker it gets. So depending on what mood you're in, if you wanted a lighter color, just do maybe one or two. But if you want something darker, three, four. Y'all see that? So this is more of a metallic purple. Whereas the other one was just like a dark. Uh, bland purple. I don't know the word. But yeah, this is more... Mm, Y'all like this one? Ah, did I get this one, Lindsay? Yeah, I did. Sorry, I don't know if this is professional or not, but I can only be me. I don't know how to be anybody else. I like the color. I try to wear lipstick, but most of the time it doesn't come out right. That's pretty well looking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so as you continue to watch this video, hopefully something sticks out to you, Sh Shanice, my cousin. Um, hopefully something sticks out to you that you like and that you want to try. It's really all about trial and error. Just because one didn't work out, that doesn't mean just give up on lipstick. Like, you have to just kind of keep doing it until you find something that you just absolutely love. Um, and just, just try it out. It can be so much fun. It can be kind of an expensive habit. Um, but it can also be very fun, too. So, you know, just just play around. Just, you know, buy different colors. You probably got something that was too dark um, for your liking. But, I mean, for your shade, I think dark purples would look really great on you. Um, I don't know if you saw the elderberry that I put on, but um, that's a really dark one. And I had this one by the lip bar. This one would be cute on you. And I believe this one would, too. And it's by Milani. You can get this anywhere. So... All right. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, if y'all like this or whatever, go on and share it with your friends. Because I never say that. I never say share this video, share this video. Because I just be like, all right, whoever watching. But yeah, share this video, y'all. 
because you know we want to educate the people we want people to to come into the light um amazing grace how sweet the sound i once was blind but now i see and we want people to to be you know educated and know that it's okay you don't have to always wear new shades jesus died so we wouldn't have to wear new shades all the time okay he died for us to wear colors all right that's not scripture but i'm just saying be free thank you for sharing <laughs> okay so i'm taking this off we got one more shade of purple to do and then we're going to move on from the purple family all right so this is by milani also this is color 21 um oh of course sangria and this will be our last shade for purple this is a creamy lipstick base nothing matte about it um the color sangria here we go this is one of my favorites too And it almost tastes like a sangria too. Like the the smell of it kind of gets in your mouth and it reminds you of like a wine. Okay, that's sangria. Again, these colors are really good with your blacks your yellows your mustard colors um even with some whites you can really turn some heads with these purples with those type of colors um houndstooth is a really good one um the black and white checker looking pattern that's really good for these types of colors um so yeah play around with that see how you like it Alrighty then, moving on, can you get mommy her chapstick out the yellow container back there? Okay, so we're going to take this off. It's a yellow, go, go over here, go over here. All the way in the back. It's a yellow um, pen holder, pencil holder. Look on my dresser. It's yellow. Way in the back, way in the back. There's some chapstick in there. Hey, cousin Rachel. Thanks for watching. Rachel, Rachel. Sorry if I said it wrong. Yeah, just give me that one. That's fine. all right so now we're going to move on to like our nude kind of shades so this one is by i have a lot by milani this is um color number 11 called precious something it's something french um yeah he watched the game he was out of town though okay so this is a nude i like to use this with a dark chocolate um liner and it's really pretty Y'all see that? What y'all think about this one? 
you can wear it by itself or like I said you can line it up with a um, I usually use depending on what I'm wearing I don't do it every time sometimes I do wear it by itself but depending on what you're wearing you can line it up with a darker you could take another lipstick and if you have like one of those thin lipstick pencils you can use it as like a lip liner and you can use it as a base for um, your lips when you when you use it with a um, it is very pretty by itself very pretty but when you, when you use it with a um, another color it brings out a different form so now y'all got me wanting to show y'all because I wasn't but now y'all got me wanting to show y'all see I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I could do it with this with this dark chocolate Maybelline one to show y'all what I'm talking about but this is really pretty I love it I just kind of want to end the tutorial because this is just cute mm. <laughs> this is so cute all right uh, so I'm gonna wipe this off and start over again and show y'all what it looks like when you blend it with another color. Forever. Did nobody ask you to stay in here? You can leave. Okay. So here is the <clears throat> Maybelline. This is like a dark chocolate. Um, Color number 85 is called Protector. This is a liquid matte. I got this from Big Lots. Sorry, something got in my eye. So this is what it looks like when you mix it with a dark chocolate. And sometimes I will mix it with a dark chocolate something. Or I'll do, um, like I have a few uh, liners from the Lip Bar and from MAC. So I'll blend it with that too. Um, they're like some purple ones. But yeah, it's starting to dry up. So the dry finish is, is looking how it's looking. And this is pretty too. So that gives you an idea if you just kind of want to be versatile um, and play around with, you know, some different things. And what y'all think about this? Talk to me. Send some hearts, likes, comments. What y'all think about this one? Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that as well. It's Black History Month, y'all. Support a girl, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, these. this is what we're blending. So, if y'all want to write this down, this is by Maybelline, okay? Color Stay, Super Stay. Super Stay Ink Matte. Can y'all see that? I'm trying to get it to focus. And the shade is called Protector, but it's color number 85. 
I love how this turned out. See, this, that's what I love about matte lipsticks, liquid mattes, because it's like, you know, when, when you put them on, it's like, you know, okay. But when they dry, it's like, oh my gosh, it's just such a, a beautiful, luminous, <laughs> it's just so pretty. <laughs> okay. The super stays. The only thing I don't like about the super stays, Melita, is sometimes they super stay. Like, they don't come off. <laughs> I be scrubbing for days trying to get it off. So, hopefully, this one doesn't embarrass me and we can move on to the next color. But yes, thank you all. Thank you. Okay, see, now I don't want to take it off. <laughs> okay, moving on to another form of another form of lipsticks jacob this is a lipstick tutorial oh, no i don't know <laughs> you might not be interested in this one okay yeah we i was supposed to have an interview today um but it got postponed so i'm like well i'm not ready got myself together so i need to do something because the people were expecting to see me today and they're gonna see me oh it came off praise god can you close my door did it work out yeah. did it work out yeah okay good my uh, 10 year old is cooking dinner because, oh, you're 11, sorry. My 11 year old is cooking dinner tonight. <laughs> For those of you who are cooking dinner while you're watching this, yes, it. <laughs> you probably seen me puckering up when y'all was coming in here. Yeah, it ain't that type of hype. I'm doing a lipstick tutorial for my babes who, um, yeah. Okay, yeah, no problem. Thank you for watching and sharing. Those of you who have to go, I understand. Y'all getting off work and all that jazz. Again, this will be on my YouTube channel, so no worries. Okay, next we're going to go to our berry colors. We're just about done here, too. This is by Sarcastic Cosmetics. Now, this lady, for those of you Cincinnatians, this lady is um <laughs> your wife can watch she might you might want to get her some of this stuff for valentine's day i'm just saying if y'all got girlfriends or booze or i don't know y'all might want to invest in some of these products and you know spice some things up just saying <laughs> just saying this is by another black owned beauty um those of you you might have heard of her she is also a gospel artist uh shana wilson williams she has her own cosmetics line and it's called sarcastic Cos cosmetics and this is the color don't talk to me <laughs> i love y'all though but for real y'all should go on and buy y'all y'all women some lipstick valentine's day is coming up to do something different. So yeah, this is a uh, it's kind of in the mauve color, like a lighter mauve. This is another good one when it dries, it's really cute. Sarcastic cosmetics. So, and she's right out of, mm, I think, uh, I forget. She went to Michigan State. I just don't know exactly where she's located, but she's here in the metro area. But yeah, Sarcastic Cosmetics. You can go to, the, go to her website. Um, a good friend of mine personally ordered these for me. So thank you if you are watching again. Okay. 
So that's Don't Talk To Me and Sarcastic Cosmetics. Hopefully you all are writing this stuff down. Okay. I don't want to come off. This is my last makeup wipe, so I definitely got to wrap this up. A good shade for chocolate skin. I mean, this might, this, this is a little outside the realm, but grays are really good. Um, any variation of gray for chocolate. But you're not chocolate. Or are you? You look chocolate to me. Um, <clears throat> we went over some purples in the beginning. Like these color purples are really good. Milani has some really good purples. This is the color Sangria. You can get away with this. Any like good shade of purple is a really is a good variation for darker skin too. Um, you'd be surprised. Some pinks. The shade that I had on, especially if you put it with a lip liner, maybe like a darker lip liner, that would definitely work out. <clears throat> so this is the color You Can't Have It. Another sarcastic one. This is actually a shade of purple that I forgot about. So this one's kind of similar to the lip bar one, except it's a little lighter. This will be good. Okay. So that's You Can't Have It by Sarcastic Cosmetics. These are mattes, yes. Her, um... She has lip glosses too, but the ones that I buy are liquid mattes. All right, moving on to our last one. Oh, I thought I had a light, bright pink in here somewhere. Maybe that was it. Okay, this is the one that I didn't do yet. Is there a problem? Another sarcastic cosmetic. Is there a problem? So this is more of a mauve. Deep berry, kind of like. At the end of the day, guys, it's really all about venturing off and just trial and error. Being okay with trying new things um, besides your usual lip gloss. Or besides a nude shade that you're used to wearing. It's really all about just stepping outside the box. And, you know, just, just going for it. And it can be really fun because you start to discover like, oh, wow, I can get away with a lot more shades than I realize. So this is why you want to know. Okay, so if you like that one, thumbs up. Almost done. We're moving on to our reds. It will be finished. Thank you all for watching this, for sharing, for staying on here. I appreciate that.
man, it's something trying to get this stuff off. Sorry, I know y'all all in my mouth like, oh, this girl. But yeah, it's, it's a task trying to get this stuff off of here. All right. This is my absolute favorite by Sarcastic. It's called Why You Want to Know. This is my favorite red lip. You will see this lip in almost every picture I take. If you've been following my photos, you've seen this lip. This is my favorite. And I love a good red. And I have like so many variations of reds because all reds are not created equal. Like save the best for last, honey. I got hair on my lip. And Melita, I actually, I think you had asked me about this color um, a couple months back too. But yeah, this is it. This is one of my favorites. Why You Wanna Know by Sarcastic Cosmetics. Let that dry a little bit. <laughs> uh, SarcasticCosmetics.com, I believe. I've never ordered from there. Um, people have ordered for me, and I just use them and share them. But yeah, Sarcastic Cosmetics. Com. But yeah, this is this is it, and it's why you want to know. Let's see. No, it's not showing up. But yeah, why you want to know? <laughs> you say you got it, you got it. <laughs> All right, last one. We're gonna do the good old Mac Ruby Woo. Those of you who are on here may be familiar with that one. That's a really really popular shade by the Mac company. What are you all cooking for dinner? I know we're having Cornish hens, macaroni and cheese, and string beans. My 11 year old is cooking in the air fryer and pressure cooker. No, just the pressure cooker. She's making the chicken in the pressure cooker. And I'll do the macaroni and cheese and string beans when I'm done with this video. Yes, London, she cooks. Like, homegirl cooks. And it's so helpful to me because I am so busy now. Just all of a sudden, I just got really, really busy. And so when I can't, she does. So we don't miss a beat around here. Yeah, she um she gets down. Now sometimes she can go too fast and then you know she'll mess up something because she didn't follow the instructions. But for the most part, she's good. She wants to be a chef, so I'll be like, okay girl, here's your practice. Lobster really? Lobster pot pie. That's interesting. We had crab legs yesterday. I haven't had lobster in a while. But um, I've never heard of that. Did you make it homemade? Breakfast snack. Oh, that sounds good. Egg, sausage, fruit. That sounds really good. Bre breakfast for dinner is a win. Like a win-win. I remember when um, one of my tra transparency moments when my husband and I, you know, would be on the struggle bus, as I call it, look in the fridge for some eggs, <laughs> for some bacon or sausage, get some pancake mix out there. Because um, that's not something that we just eat like that. And I definitely don't cook breakfast a lot. Um, but when I do, 
it has become one of my favorite most filling things potatoes because potatoes will fill you up so i make the homemade potatoes really good stuff so i put the chapstick on first because the ruby woo was very dry and this is our last one for the day this is a, another favorite of mine too it's a little brighter than the um the other shade yes yeah, definitely a win it's filling it's good you make me want to have it now but i can't have the pancakes and all that stuff because i had to cut back on a lot of my sugar and carbs right now so, more than likely, I won't be eating the mac and cheese. So, yeah, I feel like the Ruby Woo is maybe a little bit lighter than the previous lippy. I don't know. I got lipstick everywhere now from wiping it all up. So, sorry, I don't mean to look sloppy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just <laughs> I'm gonna just stick with that. Now this weekend though, because I'll be off of that portion. Excuse me. Um, I may just go ahead and make a a nice breakfast because I completed my task <laughs> and met my goal. Because I noticed I was losing some weight. Um, so I might I might have a cheat day. Cause that sounds so good right now. And I have I buy now I buy uncured no sugar bacon. It's by Applegate Farms, and it's really good. It's expensive, though. I get it from Whole Foods um, or Meyer, but it's really, really good. And it's, so, it's a much healthier option than, like, your regular bacon um, that you would cook in the, that, that you would see in the store. But it's, it's really healthy, and it's a good choice for me And because um, I got to make some better choices with my eating. So, yeah, I, I you know, I'm glad that... Um, I was able to find some good alternatives, even though it's a little costly. But yeah, but yeah, try it. It's called Sunday Morning Bacon by Applegate Farms. And it's the no sugar kind. They have the regular kind of bacon too. And oh my God, it's oh, so good. But because I can't have sugar, I got the no sugar and it's still just as good. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. But this concludes... Really? You said it doesn't like you without liner? Aw, oh, man. That sucks. I wouldn't even know what liner to use with this. It's very rare. Like, the only time I use liners is with nudes. Only because I just don't like nudes. <laughs> I don't like nudes. But the one that I showed you guys by Milani, this is my favorite. And it's another one. Like I said, I got gobs of lipsticks everywhere. and that I, I wish I was able to get through them all. Maybe I'll do a second part two or something. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. I, I see. I see. Yeah, you got to tone it down some. That I get. Yeah, definitely reds by itself. Even though I do not consider myself light-skinned. Um, reds by itself definitely work on your lighter skin complexions. It, it makes you stand out more like just the lipstick by itself because it's so bright okay and i'm about to go back over because i'm about to take some pictures <laughs> put this back on my old faithful put this back on for the day And let that dry up. I don't just wear it by itself. I was gonna put the chocolate liner back with it, but I think I'm just gonna wear it by itself. I think. I think. <laughs> but thank you all for watching this. Thank you for your patience. It's been so much fun to talk to you guys and you know, hear about your day, what you're cooking for dinner. Everything sounds good, and I'm so hungry, and my food is not done yet, and I haven't eaten. <laughs> so yeah, you all enjoy your evening. This is going on YouTube, so I have to close out with my outro. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed recording it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Bye.